previously on feeding the trolls. And if you held onto the key, the clock went around. Just depends on your perception, but that key is moving either way you look at it. <laughs> You're right! You're absolutely right! The key on the clock moves! Therefore, the Earth is stationary! And the U.S. government will crack down on Christians! And they'll be attacked by the gays who are riding on winged demons firing arrows of... Gayness! And books about evolution will form into a giant seven-headed monster and rise up from the sea! And Marilyn Monroe will be riding it! And volcanoes will come out of the ground and start spewing glass everywhere! And we'll all be sparkly! Because the thing on a clock, it turns if you hold it and you see? Do you understand? You see where my logic is going? You see how this all makes sense? I'm fucking cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs! <laughs> and now the conclusion. I apologize for that outburst. It was immature and not becoming of my character. And like most of my outbursts, it was stemmed with alcohol, so... I will attempt to get through the rest of this video without further interruption. When you wound it up, if you let go of it and you held onto the clock, the key went around. And if you held onto the key, the clock went around. Just depends on your perception, but that key is moving either way you look at it. No, it isn't. If you're holding on to the clock and the key is turning, but the clock is not turning, then the key is turning. If you're holding on to the key, then the fucking clock is turning. It's one or the other. Now, I want to get down to business with you and tell you... Down to... What business? You've said you would be getting down to business with us for a while now. Each time after you say that, we assume that you're getting down to business with us. And then you say that you'll be getting down to business with us. So I'm being led to believe that in fact, you will never be getting down to business with us. It's a lie, just like the cake. Or geocentrism. That it's important for you to recognize the word of God does prove itself. Atheists prove the word of God every day. Uh, uh. How? 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 How do they do that? How do they prove the word of God? How do atheists do it? So it's all about whether or not you atheists want to really know the truth. No! No, no, no! You answer that question! How do atheists prove the existence of God? Answer it, crazy Cajun Santa! If you have no love for the truth, then you're not going to look into the truth, which is the Holy Word of God. Well, you know what? Look who's talking. You obviously have no love of the truth. All the arguments you've ever given have been flipped around and thrown back in your fucking face. You believe in a theory that was disproven 400 fucking years ago. An idea that, if it were true, would mean the moon landing, the Mars probing, the Venus probing, Voyager, the space shuttle, Mir, the International Space Station, solar observers, quite possibly satellite communication, and navigating by the stars fucking didn't happen! You fail every time you open your mouth, you fail! You might as well have it tattooed on your fucking forehead! I heard you clicking your fucking mouse, too! You're reading this off of something, aren't you? That's why you're pausing! You have a computer, right? Chances are, it's a PC! And you know what comes standard on a copy of Windows? Movie Maker, you fuck! And yet you chose not to edit your video, so we have to sit through all your goddamn pausing! God, if you're out there, can you please hit me with something? Please? 
Psalm 93, 1, the Lord reigns, he is clothed with majesty. The Lord is clothed with strength, wherewith he has girded himself. The world also is established that it cannot be moved. I think that verse is talking about the strength of God. I'm not sure, but it just seems like that's the proper context. Psalm 96, 10. Say among the heathen, the Lord reigns. The world also shall, shall, be, shall be established, that it shall not be moved. He shall judge the people righteously. 1 Chronicles 16.30 Fear before him all the earth, the world also shall be stable, that it be not moved. Again, I'm not sure, but I think that verse is talking about how God will keep the peace or keep earthquakes away. Now, listen very carefully. You just heard the word of God. <laughs> no, I didn't. I heard you reading something off of a computer. Are you saying that you speak the true word of God? Because if you're wrong, then that's sacrilege, which, as you know, is punishable by hell. Now, I realize that he's not actually saying that, but you see, you see how taking something out of context can lead to that kind of conclusion? You don't need a science book to confirm it. You need faith. And from there, you will find the scientific truth. You need faith to figure out something, and once you've figured out something from faith, you get scientific proof, because you figured it out from faith. Faith is science. That science, once it gets hold of a doctrine of the devil, will not turn from it. Hold on one second. <clears throat> I'll teach you to run hostess under the ground. I like Twinkies. <clears throat> oh damn, who's interrupting my vacation now? Hope it's Joss. Weasel, how did he get this number? <clears throat> Oh, hi, Weasel. So, what dark forces inspired you to call today? Well, I was wondering, um, exactly how does it help your evil plan to take the souls of every man, woman, and child on the face of the planet uh, if those people don't believe that the Earth is, in fact, stationary and everything else revolves around it? Oh, 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 destroy the church through heliocentrism. Ah, oh, yes, yes, it's surprisingly simple and horrifically effective. <laughs> Step one. Convince all of humanity that the Earth revolves around the sun. <laughs> yeah. Step two. Three prophets. <laughs> so, uh, does that clear everything up for you? Oh, I see. That's good, because I have a meeting with Disney to talk about the next Star Wars movie. <laughs> I'm trying to get them to do the whole thing about Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> Me some, want some, more some. <laughs> okay. Now it all makes perfect sense. Because their paychecks required of them. No, you see, it, it all depends on what they're being paid for. You see, sometimes a scientist can get a grant to just do pure research. That is, run a bunch of experiments and just collect data. You see, the data they help collect could be used to help research down the line. Or sometimes a scientist or a group of scientists are hired onto a project so they can, you know, research and help create a product. This product can be a weapon, some cure for a disease, or tang. It all depends on who they're working for and what the ultimate gain of their research is. Now, I want you to listen to me very carefully. First, you believers, I want you to believe in the Word of God. 
the Lord hung the earth in outer space. Do you know what happens when he hangs the earth? I don't know what happens, but can you please show me the giant rope that's holding it? Is it in the North Pole or something? Is that where Santa lives? No, no, no. You can't tell me Santa's not real. If geocentrism is true, then Santa can fucking be real too. And so is the Easter Bunny and the Tooth Fairy and the Sandman? Just the same thing that happens when you hang a picture. It doesn't move. I want you believers to get it in your heart that you owe it to yourself to first believe the Word of God in not your science books and to cast this dogma off of yourselves and make them prove to you that the earth is heliocentric. Okay, can, can I just call you dumbass for a second? Okay, dumbass. Um, let me ask you a question. What are you talking into? Is it a magic stone thing? Is it some kind of God-given enchanted object? No, it's a camera. And everything inside that camera is a result of a scientist working on a goal. In fact, the very fucking thing that runs it is electricity. Something that almost 200 years ago, scientists had to work on to understand. And that light can be filtered by a lens to create a crisp image on a chip that interprets the light as data and then stores that data on a solid drive or a tape so that it can then be transferred electronically using electricity into the computer that you're using so that you can look at the footage and not edit out all the pauses for some reason. And then the computer, which also uses electricity, takes the digital data of the video and converts it into a codec, which compresses the size of that data into something manageable, and then that sent that codec in chunks to be rebuilt by a server that also runs on electricity, and that server rebuilt those chunks, converted the whole codec into another codec, so it could then be used to put up on this massive net of electronic signals called the internet. And through the internet, it was broadcast to hundreds and hundreds and thousands of different locations so people could watch you and see how much fucking full of shit you are. And it was all, all of it, was all due to the work of a scientist. You see, I try and stay out of the whole atheist, creationist, theist argument because I don't see much of a point in it. Ultimately, it doesn't fucking matter. Religion is there to give you peace and solace and whatever. And science is there to do things. Science made making your video fucking possible. If you don't want to believe what's inside a science book, and if you don't want to believe in the research that hundreds and hundreds and thousands and thousands of scientists worked their whole lives to come together to make doing this horseshit possible, then please do us all a favor. Pack up your things. Take everything except all your electronic devices. In fact, don't take any clothes that you own that use any kind of synthetic fiber. After all, that was the work of a demon-possessed scientist. Go out in the middle of the goddamn forest, somewhere far away where no one will find you, and stay there so that you can live without science. Maybe you can find a cave and build a fire in the cave and sharpen a stick for to hunt things. And then when you hunt something, you can use the blood of whatever it is you've killed to make paintings on the cave to express how much you hate science. Please, that is my advice to you. Please do that. We'll be happier. You'll be happier. It's a win-win. You take the word of God position, believers, and you stand up to atheism worldwide. It's a deadly movement. Well, that was Mega Sage. Hope you enjoyed me yelling for however fucking long this video turns out to be. And I'd just like to repeat, you know, I know not all Christians are like that. I don't think you're all stupid. You're definitely not all as stupid as that guy. And there are some Christian scientists. So, you know what? I think that regardless of what you believe in, whether you believe in God, or you're an atheist, or a Buddhist, or a Wiccan, or a Hindu, or a Taoist, Tao, 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 or you're 
um, Sh Shinto, or you're Muslim, or you're a Jew, or you're some kind of nature worshiper, or you believe in Talos. Honestly, I think we should all come together. Because, ultimately, we are all the same. Unless you're a robot. The hell? The hell's that? I'm coming, I'm coming! Jeez! <laughs> <laughs> Satan? <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> I'm not Satan. I'm his son, Santa. <laughs> well, well, but uh, what are you doing here? <laughs> I heard you were down in the dumps, so I thought I would I would bring you a present. <laughs> Damn bells were on strike again. I had to wrap it myself. Oh, wow. Feeling the troll's pens and a t-shirt and a hat. <laughs> Santa, what's this? Ho, 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 ho. What do you think it is? No, no, no. See, I, I'm not doing this. Ho, ho, ho. Yes, I, I think you are. Oh, yes. Ho, ho, ho. What's the matter, weasel? <laughs> I'm getting a little too real for you. See, you've been teasing your audience for almost a year now. And, well, you're not walking away from this. <laughs> So, Weasel, <laughs> what's going to be your next video? <laughs>